right, all right. And here we go. All right, all right. What's up, y'all? This is Doc Culture in the House uh, coming to you every Sunday night with a special guest. So today we have Brian E. Rubio on tonight. Yo, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Doc Culture's uh, world going on. Hey, how you doing? All my fans. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thank you, guys. Thank you for coming uh, to come on. Let's see. Why is this one not going? Errors, errors. I broke it already. Right. There we go. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't going. All it's right. Yeah, switch the panoramics when I'm. You know, oh, oh, get, is that what it is? To get my full <laughs> picture. All right, all right. Um, well, everything is said. Every here we go, getting started. Um, so once again, uh, Doc Culture in the house Sunday night. We have a special guest, uh, Brian E. Rubio. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Brian Rubio. Like you said, thank you for joining in. Thank you for listening in, and let's get have some fun. All right, all right. So a little bit about Brian. Um, so you guys, uh, a little bit about Brian and, and to talk to him about it and the things that he's been on. So he's a, a chef, right? That's yes, your sir. trade. That's what you do every day for a living. Yep, yep. And then you're an actor, right? Yep, and yep. You, you got to be on some awesome shows. I've had some some amazing shows, some amazing shows, amazing cast. I mean, Mines MC is the you know the biggest one, which is you know amazing. They're on their last season right now. Great show, SWAT. I mean, they, they just got brought back because the show was so good. They're like, hey, we're bringing it back for another another season. So I mean, yeah, yeah, some great great shows and great movies. All right, all right. And then uh, you just did uh, Kings of LA, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, Kings of LA we actually shot in twenty twenty. It just got released last week. Premier, it premiered last last week uh, last Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it was right. it was it was in interesting interesting. The film like is yeah, you know, you couldn't be close to each other. This and that getting tested and it was just it all was because a, of the COVID stuff, yeah, right? It's still it was, still rapid in Hollywood, right? Yeah, and all that stuff. It was, <laughs> it was a situation. Yeah. All right, all right. And then uh, what about Lowrider? You did that one in, what, 2018? The uh, Lowrider was in 2016, 2016, actually, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, because that was when my, my daughter was born. All actually, right. my son was born. No, yeah, my daughter was born. Mm -hmm. I have too many kids. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so how many kids do you have? I actually have four. I have four. Uh, my oldest one is that he's actually here with me. He's a little shy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he just you might have to get him on the mic or on the camera later. Yeah, yeah. you know, he's a good-looking boy. He's like, he's <laughs> just like his dad, just <laughs> minus, minus the beard. <laughs> Nice to be here, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, I just graduated high school, proud of him and all that stuff. All right, all right, shout but, out to your son. You know, yeah, all right, 2016, that was uh, that was my first movie, first speaking role, first, and it was it was with a crazy cast, man. I mean, Theo Rossi, Eva Longoria, Danny Michir, Gabriel Chavaria, Tony Revolori, he plays Flash on, on Spider Man and then countless other things, Grand Food Best Hotel, and it was a great way to, a crazy introduction and a great way to learn a lot of things, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Was that the first show you were ever on, or movie, or the fir first movie? Yeah, first yeah, yeah. movie. First, okay. first, the first movie. I was, I was, I did a lot of other little things. You know, I, I did a, a music video for uh, oh, what's his name, Ellie Golding. Okay. Uh, you know, I did uh, straight out of Compton. I did. You know, you always have to do the the background stuff and the, you right. know just stand there, don't make any noise. So I did a couple of things with being on some things, but this was my first time when they're like, man, I got on stage and on, on set. And uh, they're like, you look like the background guy. I was like, nope, my name is Brian Rubio. I was all proud. So no, my name is Brian Rubio. And they're like, oh, oh, no, he's he's playing, uh, he's playing Gordo. Uh, can we get you anything to drink? I it, it went from like, hey, we'll go to the back to can we get you anything? And it was a trip, man, because I was like, I'm a broke kid from, <laughs> from CB Valley, you know? Like, yeah. yeah, all right, cool. Okay, so how, how many years have you been in this industry or business, or what got you into it? Oh man, it was uh, Keenan Thompson. <laughs> I always say the same story, Kenan Thompson, man, watching all that when I was a kid, man. I, I mean, I was born in 87, grew up in the 90s. Uh, 90s, uh, I mean, it was the, I think it was the best time ever. I grew up in a lot of dope things, you know, but oh, yeah. all that was one of them. There was, it was like our SNL, you know, our version. And I thought it was funnier. <laughs> yeah, and the, the 90s was a, a different you know? And yeah, I mean, everybody always, because I was dark, man, I'm Guatemalan. Uh, they, and that time, all you saw, was, all you heard was Mexican, you know, right. Mexican, Mexican. There was no Cuban, no Salvadorian. Guatemala, you know, and people mostly thought it was either Samoan or black, right? You know, and then I finally saw a kid that looked like me, even though Kenan Thompson was black. But I was like, hey man, he's on TV, he looks just like me. <laughs> and I was always a clown, man. I was always my dad. My dad was always like, "Stop running around, man. Right. You know, be serious." But I was, that was just a joker in me, you know. And I was always, you know, entertaining. And then I just saw him, and I was like, man, you know, if he can do it, why not? But then, you know, that's the that's how the dream started. <laughs> all right, all right. So. <clears throat> You saw that you wanted to pursue it, and then you went into backgrounds and started nah, backgrounds and stuff. That, that, that's, you that's, into first? that's when I was like 13, you know. And uh, honestly, I, I mean, I started off young. Had my son when I was 18. I went, I went straight to culinary school, and I, I was, I didn't even have entertainment on the mind at that point. I was like, I need to make money and raise my right. family. 
as, as, as any man should, right? You know, I didn't make, make money and all that stuff. And it was finally got to a point in my life where I was like, man, you know, like we're sturdy, we're good. And I was like, I still have this itch to want to. And one thing my, my father always told me is like, you never want to be stuck with the woulda, shoulda, could That's right. You know, because like, I mean, regret is one of the things that you will regret at the end of life. You'd be like, shit. Yeah. And I should have. What? 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 What's the worst that can happen? No, you know, you yeah. get your feelings hurt. Exactly. You know, my wife hurts my feelings every day. <laughs> I yeah. say, I say, I love you. She's like, yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, man. And I, that, that I watching TV and like, you know, I was like, man, that is horrible Spanish. And you know, I was like, you know what? Maybe why not? This is my chance. Why not throw myself in there? I, the, the kids were kind of young. I have some energy. I was like, you know, screw it. I'm going to do it, you know? And I, I, one of my buddies from high school, his name is Eric Rosette. Shout out to Eric, you know? Um, he, he was always wanted to be an actor. He was another funny, fat guy just like me. You know, he looks <laughs> great now because he lost a lot of weight. Um, and I asked him, hey, man, you know, what do I do? A lot of things that a lot of people ask me, like, what do I do? You know? Right. And, I, and he's like, look, here, I'm going to hook you up. He sent me a, 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 a number for his old manager. And I got with him. And I didn't have the beard and the, and the hair then. I had just you know, shaved head and all that stuff. And, He's like, man, you look mean. You have a good look, mean looking face, you know. You might, you know, you ask something, you look special. And he was like, let's see what we can do, you know. And, uh, you know, he's like, no, I'm going to send you out and this and that and, and auditions, but you got to be ready to go whenever, whenever. And we did. We went wherever and whenever. The kids, we would leave school early sometimes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, take them out at one o'clock or, or right after right after they get out, we take off to LA and Hollywood, this and that. I mean, my, my, my family, my support system, like, they've always been. Uh, heavily with me that's why you know i give him my all, all the time that's but awesome. man we went everywhere and like that, it was awesome though because i didn't because now now all the auditions are on, online you have to sell tape and all that right, stuff right. so it's like it's freaking different yeah it is so different it, it kind of takes a hit at your 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 confidence because you're like before you're like all right get in there you know we're entertainers right. we make people happy you can tell in person off, right? exactly you can now see, you're talking to a camera <laughs> you can tell if they're happy you can tell if they're like you need their feeling you're like oh okay, right. this guy all right cool cool or they can give you like direction you know yeah and then i always tell my kids my text messages like you're reading something you you can read it out of context yeah right you can like hmm. and they're like they're giving you instructions i'm like oh this guy what trying to tell me <laughs> do what yeah, do you want me to what yeah, be more mexican but with no accent like, what the hell does that mean? It's the look. Yeah, you gotta yeah, have the yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. But, but talk American or English or whatever they want to and, say, right? and all that stuff. But I mean, but yeah, you know, yeah, they were, you know, my biggest support. But yeah, you know, we went everywhere. And uh, man, Lowriders, that was, I'm saying, that was my first one. And I auditioned probably like four or five times for that movie. Oh, wow. Four or five times. So my character was, a, they already filmed a part of the movie mm-hmm. and they recasted. Because oh. they didn't like whoever like my character was, they didn't they didn't feel it. They weren't they feeling, weren't feeling it. it. And I was like, that's a thing. They can recast them because I didn't know what my my because they were only looking for me. Yeah, there's <laughs> you like know for one, for one person as far as I was like, all right, cool. And uh, man, I auditioned, I auditioned. I was working at this spot in uh, uh where, where's that uh, Studio City somewhere around there. And uh, man, I got a phone call from my, my agent or my manager, and it's I'm working. It's eight o'clock at night. I'm I'm a chef, life, man. I'm always nighttime, late nights, holidays, weekends, all that. And I'm like, you can call me right now. Maybe I have an audition. Whatever I call him, he's like, you, are you where are you at? I'm like, I'm at work. He's like, we're gonna have to ask for some time off. I'm like, why is that? He's like, well, you just got booked for that for that film, Lowriders. And I thought it was nothing. I didn't think it was a big nothing movie, whatever. I was like, cool. I mean, I, in my mind, I was like, cool, this is awesome. Right, right. He was like, you know, don't get surprised. It's not. I was like, yeah, yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. And like uh, two weeks later, they were like, all right, you're gonna go into the table read. And I go to the table read, and I have a <laughs> at that point, I had a 2003 Chevy Impala, white, a Ninja Pearl. Mm-hmm. I love her, you mm-hmm. know, all that stuff. But man, Pearl had some problems, just like an old old lady Pearl. Right. Man, she was on the hip and. She, she was smoking up the ass, and, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And but I wrote her, I wrote her in, and I'm like, Beverly Hills. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and I pull into like this, uh, and imagine in a team. I was like, I've heard that before. Man. Ron Howard's friend, the, and I couldn't think of Brian's name. <laughs> I was like, what? am I really here? Maybe, maybe it's like whatever. And I go in, and man, Brian Grazer comes through the door, and like all these actors are coming in, and I'm just like. What the hell? Where am I? What am I doing? Where am I? They're, and they're just shaking my hand. They're, oh, hey, hey, what's going on, Brian? And I'm like, what? they know you. Yeah, like, how do you know me? I'm like, whatever. And and, and like, it's crazy, right? And I, and I was reading like, uh, who was around me at the table? I'm like, okay, 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 okay. And I see Theo Rossi, and I'm like, there's no way, there's no way they got him in the film, right? And I was like, really? And then, like, Eva Longoria. And then there's three people that didn't make that table read. Eva Longoria and Theo Rossi was one of them. And I heard like, oh, they got recast. I'm like. 
right? <laughs> First day on set, man, who greets me? Theo Rossi. Yeah. I was like, they told me you were on this movie. He's like, no, I just got to make the table read. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Yeah. And he was like, nah, I heard you were funny at the table read. I was like, what the hell? And I'm, my, I'm telling you, talk, like, man, my talk. mind got blown within like two two weeks. Yeah. Like I, him coming to this world, like I graduated high school and she literally told me, she I walked her to the front of the gates to get picked up by her aunt. Yeah. And she's like, by the way, I'm pregnant. Bye. And I'm like, <laughs> Ooh, like what? You're like, like, oh man! Everybody's like, congratulations! I'm like, you how did you find out so quick? <laughs> They're like, no, you just graduated. I'm like, oh shit! All right, oh my god! You know, um, I remember my mom uh, graduates, uh, graduated grandma, and at the same time, you know. But uh, yeah, man, it happened just quick, quick, and then like it was, it was a like I said, a blessing, you know. Like it was a really good introduction, and uh, I always tell like people always ask me, how do you feel like about you know? And I said like this, you do, like why didn't you do entertainment when you were younger? It just wasn't in the books. It right. just didn't happen for a reason. Right, right. Before I was like, man, this sucks, man. My life sucks. Why didn't I get help from my daddy and shit? You know, and all that yeah, stuff, right. you know? Because my stories, I have a pretty crazy story. And then it's a long one too. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a good one. <laughs> but you know, um, and, and why didn't it happen? And I right. said, you know, why did it happen? Because I wouldn't have appreciated it. I would yeah. I would have not, I would have just took it for granted. Every single everything that I received from this is crazy. It's, mm -hmm. it's it's amazing, you know. People that tell me like, hey, that's you or this. I mean, it's <laughs> You know, it, it still makes me like, no way. Right. <laughs> you know, right. you know? Like, yeah, yeah. You're doing it though. You know, you've been into different stuff. You're, 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 I, I, I mean, I, I got referred to you by uh, Ernie, just Ernie off of clients. Yeah. You know, Ernie, he, uh, shout out to Ernie and shout out to everybody that's been watching me. Just wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So, you know, I, I met him and, he, and he's going to be coming on my show as well. Awesome. And uh, so he was like, hey, I can't make it until later down, down the year. But I have somebody I want to send you away, and I was like, "Cool!" So he connected us, and and now here we are. So yeah, um, I want to give him a shout out. Appreciate him for that, and and it's just growing, you know, getting your connections, moving up on on having different um, movies, and and go yeah. to your career. And then what type of chef are you? What 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 do you specialize in? Or was there a certain type of food you cook? Or you're just the head chef? Or what type of chef? Because I know there's different levels of chefs, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just like in the military, yeah. Don't you know? Don't, don't say the wrong thing. Yeah, right, right. Oh. Uh, well, I'm a seafood chef because I see food and I eat it. Oh, right, know? right. right. <laughs> so, so I'm right there too, except I don't cook it. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm better at the, the no, but uh, um, I am so when I went to I went to culinary school. I went to the Cordon Bleu in Pasadena. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, and it's a traditional culinary um, uh, French and Italian. So one of the best schools I've You know, it is one of the best ones. In there, yeah. You know, and so Gordon Ramsay came around. I love Gordon Ramsay. I love. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Gordon. You're the best. And all that stuff. <laughs> but as soon as Hell's Kitchen came out, everybody wanted to be a chef. I'm like, right. Damn it. <laughs> you know, this is my thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I went, to, I went to culinary school, but I mean, I classically Italian and French and, and all that stuff, which is, uh, you know, but man, um, I love everything. I touched it. And then in that school, they taught us how to cook around the world, Indian, you know, in, in Indian, Mongolian, everything, all kinds of stuff, man. And and it's, um, I I can't label myself as a one type of chef. Like, I mean, I, I've been an executive chef. I've been a head chef. I, I, when I was 20 years old. I left Disneyland. I used to work at Disneyland. Um, because uh, I needed to make money. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> as, a chef, work, as, as a chef, as a chef, and it was, I mean, I was, I was driving an hour either way, you know. But I, I needed a job, so I went back to where I knew, my hometown of Simi Valley. I got a job at, at twenty as a prep cook, and I just worked my way up, and I was a head chef by the time I was like twenty, almost twenty-one. Then I became a traveling chef. I mean, I'm, you know, without saying I'm the, I'm, I'm really good at my job. <laughs> It's all good. I'll keep yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. You're good. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I can't, if you are, I, I feel, if you are, you just can't let me live yourself as one type because everything, every single kind of food should intrigue you. That's right. Every single type of cooking, every single time, like, what the hell is that? You're cooking on a rock right now? Like, what the hell? Right, there's different like, styles. There's different and styles. And, and right. yeah, man, not nice. And, and I, I always say, man, chefs are pirates, man. You know, because we, we we love to play with fire. We all we were we're okay with cutting ourselves. We're always you know in sword fights and stuff. You know, and we cuss like crazy. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know. Right. But I, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I, yeah. I love it all. You know, I mean, and and I, the things that I like to do, I like to, you know, that whole fusion thing. Man, I've been doing the fusion for a while. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, they're just uh, mixing Italian with with with, with Spanish and Guatemalan. And, and French and all, that's getting real stuff. popular now. Yeah, it people is. People like a mixture of food versus just one type. It's it's because like you know like, you go like man, you know what would go good with this right here? Mm -hmm. Some of this over here, right. and it, and it's like why not put it together? Well, right. what would be the you know the worst thing? Like uh, Friday Saturday is my days off, man. You know I do. I, hey everybody, just so you know, I still bust my ass every day of the week. 
I go to work, you know, oh, yeah. I'm working at least 60 hours at, at, you know, and all that stuff. So, I mean, hey, the dream is good, but it's a, it's a, it's a hard road, man. But, you know, but it, it pays off. Right. <laughs> but I, 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 so Friday, Saturdays are my day off, you know, and, and I, like, like I said, I like to spend it with my family, you know, the kids that grow up so fast, you don't even get to, you don't even see it, you know, he graduated high school. I'm like, holy crap, I remember when you were graduating kindergarten. Crazy. You <laughs> know, by quick. so I say, you know, what, what is it? I always ask him, what do you guys want to eat for dinner? You know, because it's like, hey, you know, my, 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 my 10 year old, they, you know, what's cool about you, dad, is you're a chef. And you can make whatever you want. I'm like, damn right, I can. I can. I I can. You know what? You're absolutely right. And my son goes, they, they also throwing out different answers. My daughter goes, I want the lemon pasta you make. Awesome. All right, give me a protein. My son goes, lamb. I'm like, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, we, let's see. If we can find some lamb. <laughs> you know, like so. I mean, I like doing those uh, out of the box, you know, Iron Chef America things. You know, like, hey, so let's see what we can make. Good, you know, different, right. you know, and all that other stuff. But yeah. So what do you do outside of obviously working full time chef mm -hmm. and when you're doing your acting and then you do comedian? Yeah. You're a comedian, right? Yes, so do you perform anywhere or is it just like so online or perform, what is your stuff? Uh performing, man, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, sorry about that. Are you good? <laughs> uh performing, I mean it's it's uh I've been doing it for a good amount of years, just as long as I've been acting, you know. It's, I I set up I, like I said, I've always been a clown. I've always been funny. I've always been, you know, all, and people always tell me, hey, you're freaking funny, man. I'm like, cool. And I was like, man, this is scary, though, being in front of people. But, yeah. you know, uh, in Burbank, I used to go to church in Burbank. My mom, we grew up in church in, in Burbank. And that's why I started singing, you know. And I did. Yeah, we started a little group. And then I, so being on stage wasn't really a fear for me. Being in front of people and all that stuff, I, I mean, I'm good at it, you know. <laughs> so it wasn't the whole that thing. I'm like, why am I not funny in front of people, you know? Right. Like, what if it's just gonna kill me so bad inside? Like, man, if I go up there, I'm like, yeah, just get off, just get off the stage, you know. And so it, it was one of those things that it was uh, at the Haha ha Comedy Cafe. That was like my first, uh, my first show, okay. um, and um, it was a contest, like who, who can, you know, who's the funniest person, whatever. I got like fourth. You know, I was hey. I was funny, you know, but I wasn't the winner, but I was funny, right, yeah, you know. Yeah. But then I got a phone call and I said, "Hey, you want to fill in because we had somebody drop out and do ten minutes?" And I was like, "On a real show?" Right. And they're like, "Yeah, right. at the hot comedy." I was like, "What?" They're like, "Yeah," and, like, and that's where it just started. So I mean, I tried doing as much as I could where with the time because man, it's tiring, it's time consuming, and all that stuff. But I mean, I do perform in certain some certain spots right now, like the Cosmic Comedy Bowl okay. uh, in in Simi Valley. You know, it's a bowling alley. But they have this whole, they reconfigured, constructed this whole um, bar club, and they have a, they have comedy shows there, reggae shows. It's a, it's a it's pretty dope spot. So Cosmic Comedy Bowling, shouting it out because I mean I've been performing there, you know, the past couple of times, and they've been good to me. <laughs> so um, so you do comedian or uh, comedy shows, mm -hmm. you do your acting, you're cooking full time. Um, what do you do with a little bit of free time that you have, like with the family, anything for fun? Anything like what, what? What? What intrigues you? What makes you happy besides obviously all this working? That's fun, obviously as well. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I mean, relaxing. <laughs> but, it's relaxing. I mean, I, I try to do as much as we can. I, I mean, I try to hang out with the kids as much individually because they all you do deserve individual attention mm -hmm. and together, you know. So I mean, uh, I mean, we go to the batting cages, you know. That, that's I mean, I mean, it's one of those like they they go, what makes you happy, you yeah. know. Watching them smile. That's it. You know, That's seeing right seeing seeing them, and yeah, you know, I, I get tired and then grouchy and stuff like that. But honestly, when I see them happy, and and I'll get home and they're all sitting in the living room, and we just got a bunny. Shout out to the bunny. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just they're in a room sitting playing with the bunny, and I'm like, That's freaking awesome. Enjoy those small. That's babies. freaking awesome. That's right. And then on top of that, like when I get home and then, like I'm sitting down in the kitchen and she's talking to me, and everybody comes out of their or wherever they work and whatever, and we have a little discussion. Of certain things of what happened that day, what they're going through, this and that, and like, and like you know, you you try hard to to communicate with your kid, and I'm like, man, this just happens naturally, you know, like that's good, you know, well, awesome. Not everybody has that. Not, not at all. So it's good that you have that relationship not with at your all, kids, you know? your family, be able to communicate. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, so anything that we can do together, you know, but like uh, recently, with the past couple of years, because I mean, we, our daughter, she's seven now, camping, going outside, yeah. you know, going outside. Um, um, you know, we we like to go in the front yard and throw the football around and the softball around and all that stuff and That's and uh, yeah, you know, just uh, outside stuff, you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> just typical family typical stuff. typical family That's stuff, uh, you know, and uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, the goodwill. 
Hey, the goodwill, they have all kinds of good goodwill. stuff. They, that's know, why it's called the goodwill. The they got goodwill. good stuff. They, yeah, don't hand on the goodwill, yeah. man. Hey, I still go to the goodwill. I mean, I, I, I ain't that rich either, but hey, <laughs> the good. Yeah, I'm not rich at all. So. Right. <laughs> I got four kids. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. But the goodwill, man, you come up with some really good stuff, and uh, you know, the, the more, the more, the bigger the city, the more goodwill. Four kids and living in California, you got to make over a million dollars a year to even survive out here. Right? Yeah, they used to work for the cartel or something. <laughs> yeah, right. You got to make money. <laughs> Cali is expensive. Yeah, 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 for sure, you know? And, and I mean, we're obviously more Raiders fans. Oh, Raiders. <laughs> Raiders, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, you know? And, well, that gets expensive, too. But, yeah, you know, the just doing the family thing. We're, we're a big sports family. Obviously, we're, we didn't wear this uh, uh, together. We didn't match. We came like this on accident. We just got in the car, and we're like, oh. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody's wearing Raiders no. over here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, but uh, <clears throat> that's good right there. That's good. So what is your your goal or your future look like in the next five years? Do you have a vision of what you want or where you want to pursue? Like, do you have a, a goal set for your acting career or your chef career or anything like that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, where I'm oh, chef wise, man. I, I mean, I've had I've done twenty years, twenty years, twenty years, twenty years of, of, of. I know I don't look that old. <laughs> you know? They're like he's thirty five, fifteen. That's how when I started, man. Yeah. I, I started making nights for my brother, my sister. But fifteen, I got a job at Pizza Hut. I told him I was sixteen in my life. Hey, uh, you know? well, you started working. <laughs> when I started working, you know, I was like taking call orders and making pieces and stuff. But that's where it started. I'm like, hey, man, this person stuff's pretty cool. Uh, chef wise, man, like, yeah, man, I've done some pretty dope stuff, you know, and, and, and some awesome stuff. Where I'm at right now, it, it's more, it's, it's feeding to my heart and my soul. I work in a, at a senior living. Nice. Uh, yeah, senior living. I work with her with my wife, and I'm the chef in the back. She she takes care of the front and the residents, and uh, it's it, these <laughs> these residents, you know, they're just amazing. Right. I mean, they, man, they're ninety something. The, right. the the gentleman that I talk to every day, man, he he was going from. Um, uh, either way, he flew into Hawaii when Pearl Harbor started, <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" He's like, "I was there, man." The whole, I was like, "He's like, I just got married to her." Like three days later, I took off, and it was like one of those like stories. And I'm just like, "Man, like you sir are a badass." <laughs> like, right. you know, those older guys are badass. Yeah, man. man. Like, and then we right. have we have a good amount. We have one, you know, Korean veterans, World War II veterans, and just like him. I think we have like three World War II veterans, and stuff like that. I mean, but like that, I don't think I don't want to leave there. Just because right. they, I mean, they, the worst part is when, you know, they're losing them, but they feed here, you know, yeah. like, it, I mean, it's a great job. I mean, I'm five minutes away from my house, you know, and yeah. all that stuff, but man, they really put things in, in so perspective. So not only you have the look of big mean guy, right, or but you got a soft heart. I yeah. see that. I see it in your face. Oh, you're I You're talking about it. You're passionate about these, uh, your clients and, and people, like you, the residents there that you live. I can see when you're talking about it right now, you kind of lit up like, yeah. about it. You're like, you know what? I would, I wouldn't leave them. Yeah. Like even if you got a job like offered at a nice restaurant, you're like, nope, this is where my heart is. I kind of yeah, I gotta feel like every, yeah. everything, everything that I, all the jobs that I've had and everything rolling, you know, because I mean I've worked at like maybe like what five restaurants my whole twenty year career, six restaurants I think. Yeah. You know, both those little things that I had to do aside like you know Buffalo Wild Wings because I, mean, right. I needed money. <laughs> that work. You know, but like I've I've, I've always spent a good time at each restaurant and stuff like that. So but like yeah, I mean I mean yeah, you know, on top of that, I'm a pretty good singer. Uh, and, right. we might have to have you through some bars and yeah, sing yeah, let's, let's do it <laughs> and uh i mean the the residents uh, i i one day I just they hear me in the back i'm loud i mean yeah. i'm one of those dudes like i you can hear me like she right. she always comes shh they're trying, they're trying to play. She's just flirting with you. Yeah, like, I know, right? <laughs> you know, work. You trying, know? trying to get free Talk to price. HR. You know? <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, yeah, so I mean, they they love it. You know, the the, the they always go, "Are you gonna sing for us today?" I was like, "Of course." What do you want to hear? You know what we like. Whatever you, whatever comes out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> right. cool, cool. So you're and used to being put on the spot then. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, not not just on the spotlight, you know. Like, <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, yeah, being just being on on, on the time, it's it's crazy because we do. Uh, it's funny. We do uh, uh, Mother's Day brunches and stuff like that. Right. So their families come in and they go, that's the singing chef right there. Yeah. He's the one that you sing to our mother. I'm like, hey, 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 not like that. <laughs> not like that. And they're like, no, no, you know. And not yet. And they're like, oh, you know, thank you for doing that. Because it, 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 there's some, some they just it's not having a good day. Yeah. And then they hear and they're like, and they smile. And that smile makes me smile. That's right. <laughs> you that's know, right. It, it's awesome, you know. So, yeah, but chef-wise, yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm I'm pretty good where I'm at, unless exactly they kick me out. Right. <laughs> hey, that's good that you're happy there, that, that, that you're doing. And, uh, you know, I, I my grandfather was in a home and stuff, and there was some staff there that mm -hmm. just made it. He always would talk about them. And so, you know, you telling the story made me think of that. And, you know, I want to say thank you on behalf of his family oh, and the stuff that are there because 
you know, it makes a difference for their, their them finishing out their lives, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's that's a what tough it is. spot for them to be sometimes, you know, but you're putting a smile on their face, making them happy, making them, you know, enjoy life, you know, for their, their last days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, the one thing I, I mean, it, 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 I, I get to the topic right away because new people are like, look, they're here to finish their lives. Yeah. Their meal that we're giving them could be their very last one, and you don't even realize it. Yeah. So that's why I try to strive to make the best meal that I can, the best right. flavor, giving my 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 everything. Because it's, it's right. it, you know, there's I didn't realize it, and she pointed it out when I started working on it. You know how many senior livings there are, and I'm like, yeah. holy crap! There's like, a lot. There's a lot, and then these are the people from the 20s, from the 10s, from the 15s. The, right. The, they they were there when the original Titanic sank. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh -oh. Don't go to that subject. <laughs> oh, we'll, that, we'll, we'll put that one out. I don't know. I, I told a joke when they were still down there. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, how many shows? They're yeah, like, you know, like, you know, but I mean, it's just and I, like, listen, I talk to your to your senior citizens because man, they they've been through some shit, right? That you have no idea. Exactly. They've been through some struggles, some some man that you have. That you think it's hard right now, but the internet goes out. Mm. <laughs> right, right. Oh, my internet's not working. You know, like I, I'll be like, hey, hey, fix the modem too, but <laughs> but like, yeah, man. And then those times, you know, like, yeah, man, building building carburetors and stuff. I mean, you know, the technology at that point and that time, right. the thing that they created, because there were some people that worked for for Apple there and IBM and and NASA and stuff. I'm like, holy crap! Like, yeah, you guys, like, there's some revolutionary people that were just. That created and started yeah. some of the groups yeah, yeah. that we enjoy today. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. So that, with the cooking, yeah, you know. Obviously, I mean, chefs. My, I mean, that was that's where I started. You know, yeah. that's my passion. You know, I got my my little chef bears and stuff. Mm -hmm. They goofy. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, I have a story behind it because I have my my chef brown bear because I'm a grizzly bear. You know, yeah. they call me brown bear. And I, that's my attitude when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm focused and when I'm, I'm ready for war. But I'm also a little bit goofy. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> you know, fun, you know? You gotta give, give both of them. If it was funny, if people look from far away, like, this gangster tattoo. Oh, they, yeah. they get closer, like, it's goofy. <laughs> yeah, right. They, they laugh, right? You know, yeah. Uh, stand up comedy, man. I mean, I love it, man. I love being on stage. I love, I love, like, it's not even just controlling the crowd, but just making people stand up comedy, being in a comedy club, or just telling jokes in general. It's making people forget what they're going through at that time. Right. Just like a movie, just like a show, you know, you don't, for that 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you, the, the shit you're going through, you're not thinking about it. Right. You know, you're, you're getting a laugh. Laughter is a good medicine. Yeah. And like, you feel so like you have a really good belly laugh. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you might be like, oh, I'm sore, but you you feel a lot better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Laughter is key, man. Laughter you know, so that, yeah, the comedy thing, man, I've always wanted to have a special and all that stuff. I've, I've been writing jokes for, I don't know how long. There's books that I've lost and found and, and other things. She was write it in your cell phone. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm a this guy, you know. Handwrite. For some reason, I, I mean, I can. Yeah. yeah. I gotta write handwrite stuff too. I can, but it just doesn't come out the same as like, you know. And, and, and only I can read my chicken scratch. I think that's why she's like, "What are you writing about? Don't worry about it." <laughs> just it's hieroglyphics. Right? Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> I know it. Yeah. You know, yeah, because I mean, she goes every single, almost every single show. You know, the yeah. show she doesn't go. That's when I talk about her. Oh, you know? right. <laughs> but the show she's there, I'm like, oh. <laughs> but but uh yeah i mean just continue hitting the stage and just uh, as many shows different shows hey hey if you guys want me on your show you know <laughs> go hey, ahead we might have to book you out here and do a better yeah, show yeah, actually TV. i actually did a show at lucky loops out here i did two of them right okay i love it lucky loops brewing there yeah. was a, i did a, a two shows right there nice um yeah i mean so where i'll dra i'll travel <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I mean, we're here in Palmdale right now, and you came up here for the show. You know, and uh, you know, so we definitely gotta have you come out and do a, a comedy show. Maybe you get a help me get a lineup, and we'll do a show. Oh, let's do it! Hell yeah! So I do a lot of events out here and stuff in the in the Palmdale Lancaster area um, for veterans. So um, that's what we'll probably do is do a little thing. Um, and then in April of every year, I do a big car show and raise funds for veterans. Awesome! We do a awesome. car show, bike show, and all that stuff. So um, we'll definitely have to maybe have you come out and do it. Um, I don't know if you know uh, uh, Dick Salas. He's a comedian, a Marine comedian, and he comes out. And he hosts my show um, every um, April, uh -huh. and uh, and he's he's does a lot of good shows and stuff. Awesome, he's man. a veteran comedian, and uh, so we appreciate him. He always comes out every uh, April. He's done it for the last two years, um, and he's my host, and he's a, makes people laugh and stuff, which is great. You know, I mean, like you said, laughter is key. Yeah, you man. know, makes people remember things. 
I remember things when it's funny. Yeah. But if, if it's just serious, I'm like, hey, what did they say again? I forgot. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, I'm one of those people, man. Just like my, my buddy Vincent Vargas, man, on, on, the, my, on, on the Mayans, man. Rocco, oh, yeah. he's, Rocco. He, he's Marine. Yeah. He's tough as nails, but man, he's one of the funniest guys I know. And he can, you can't put him in a serious moment, just like me. <laughs> I, we, we learned that together, man, because I will crack a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I reached out to him too to come on the show. Hopefully he does. I know he's got a busy schedule. He's he, got a lot of stuff going well, on. Well, he just he just moved uh, so, to Texas like, like yeah, two weeks ago. Like moved, yeah. Hey Rocco, if you're looking at this, hey man, Doc's a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, appreciate, appreciate it. But yeah, I'm trying to you know have different people come on the show and 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 you know tell their story and what they've done and and that's it's growing. You know what I mean? Everything's oh, yeah. growing and. We all got to start somewhere, right? You know, sometimes yeah. a lot of people, there's people like me, there's people like me that they'll still probably want to pursue things, you know, and it, it's right. just, you just don't have an outlet or a way to get it out or do anything. And, you know, like you said, yeah, I drove out here and and, and, and would I have done this like 10 years ago when I first started? I don't know. Right. Just because it's like, I would have been thinking like, I waste my gas money to go do this. Like, I wouldn't have been thinking about like the bigger picture of like where it can go, where it can go, what, what what's the probability of it. And it's not even, it's not even this probability. Just, you know, what is the best thing? Because, like you said, giving back is one of the best things, you know? That's right. It's one of the best part. Like, why do this? And I always say, why do this if it's not to give? I mean, yeah, it, you know, everybody, want, everybody wants to not have to go through life thinking about, well, how am I going to make my next paycheck? Or, or, like, I just paid my bill. Like, now I have nothing, you know? It, right. but everybody wants to be comfortable, right? Oh, shit, that's a good part about yeah. not doing it, right? But, I mean, there's so many other people that, yeah, they struggle and stuff like that, you know? And, and skid row homeless you know there's it's 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 homelessness is a big issue man it's, 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 especially here in california big, yeah and you can't you can't you can't turn a blind eye even like i'm from Simi valley man it's a beautiful town but we still haven't yeah i remember there's camps and this and that you know you know just trying to help us uh, whatever whoever wherever we can because i mean when i when i first started out we did a blood drive for the, the children's hospital you know that's another thing i would love to start doing again because yeah. i mean it's it's man, one 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 female can save one one kid or two kids, and one male adult can save up to three. Oh. You know, so and they, these kids maybe do a comedy show with a blood drive. You know, yeah, all that's where you come in, but you gotta get blood. <laughs> hey, you know, like, hey, well, a blood friend mission. You know, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you know things like you're doing things like that because I mean those like I said, you know, like you you can't take shit when you leave. You know, that's right. Or you can feel good when you go out. That's right. You know, and then maybe it's the 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 crap, the dumb stuff I did when I was a kid or whatever, and why not? You know, I'm not a bad person, but. You know, I did, stuff, I did stupid kids. stuff. <laughs> you know, stupid but stuff. you know, like they always say, be the person that you wish that was your yours. You know, or what that you needed when you were that that age. You know, you never know what people need you. I would tell my kids, you know, you never know what people are going through. That's right. So always try. I mean, you know, you're going through a bad day too, but their day might be worse. Right. You know, or something. You know. Yeah, you know? count your blessings. Count your blessings. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. And acting, man. That's the. You know, uh, I never thought I felt so good. Like, I thought the stage was, like, my thing. And then, like, I, I do. But as soon as I get on that camera, it's just, uh, do they say action? I don't know, man. I just, like, I you know, it's just, like, I'm like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, it, at first I was, like, I can't believe I'm doing this. You know, I'm like, <laughs> like, I was in the makeup chair. I'm, like, I can't believe this. Like, like, I'm really, this is, like, crazy and stuff like that. And when I, you know, that was that was for lowriders, you know. And I was, like, crazy, crazy. Then when I got cast for Mines, you know, and uh, that was that was a little struggle too. You know, I I, I was supposed to get the first season actually with Frankie Loyal. Shout out to Frankie too, because we we were in that audition room together for the before the first season. You know, and, he, and obviously he got the part of Hank. You know, and and, and we always he's always remembered me. I always remember him. You know, he's a great person. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, so it, it's <laughs> it, it, it always it never happens the first time. Sometimes that's right. <laughs> you have to try again, but it's your strive and, and your you know uh, your willingness to keep going at it. <laughs> so, so do you ride a Harley or ride a motorcycle or anything? I think uh, I saw a little thing about you didn't ride before or something. So I I been practicing, not recently. I did practice. Uh, I know how to, you know, I'm not the best rider. I can get down the street. Yeah. You know, I can, I can get into third gear and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, I never had, I haven't had the pleasure of owning one and all that other stuff. But I mean. Yeah. And for the, if we want to get away, we'll get away. You know? <laughs> yeah, the bike might be messed up by the time. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> it, it. Where is he? Ah, you, know, just, you know, second gear maxed out. Exactly. You know, you're just, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, at least I know how to ship, you know, right, you know, and all that stuff. And so, yeah, that's the important part. Yeah, that's the, you know, the, <laughs> man. So, you know, you know, I mean, you know how to drive a stick ship, man, yep. car, right? I mean, as, as, as we all should, you know, sure. and these punk kids need to learn how to drive <laughs> stick ships. We had to learn. <laughs> we had to. There was no choice. They, you know, they don't even make stick ships now. No, they don't. You have to special <laughs> request it, yeah. yeah. So, like, when I, my first car, my, my 91 Honda Accord, I loved it, man, but it, it was a stick ship. 
you know, mm-hmm. and I had a, I learned how to drive in my brother's blue Corolla. And this one, for some reason, when I first got my car, like I was like, all right, cool, cool. But I was by myself and whatever. And I was like, I every single time I shift, I looked down at the shifter. Yeah. And that was my problem. And I eventually got over it. That was the same problem I had on the bike. You want to look? Yeah, I went like this and I'm like, all right, let it go, let it go. And I went like this and I'm like, oh, car. Right. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm going left all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, I'm, going, I'm doing this one. I'm like, man. So that was, that was, uh, yeah, don't look down. Yeah. So on the show, um, is there any scenes or anything with you on a bike or whatever? And how did they do that? There is. There is. And I don't think they use it. I think they cut it out. Okay. It's at the end of season three. Uh, so because, I mean, I don't know. They blew me up. In the, <laughs> they, they, I have no idea. There, 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 there was no uh, confirmation that it was on. Yeah. You know, so I was like, I'm still waiting. You know, whatever you know, they do, or a, a or whatever, you know. So, right. so I'm not, I don't think I am yet. So you guys got to bring He's still there. He's I'm still, still there. there. <laughs> if, I, if I believe it, I believe it. You know? yeah. um, but there is, so in that season, in the, the third season, when I'm going into the mechanic shop and all that stuff, I was, they show us, they were supposed to show us riding, the three of us riding in. Okay. And I was supposed to be riding on top of Emilio's bike. His, okay. his, uh, his, uh, it was like an aquamarine, aquamarine blue okay. and white Harley vintage beautiful bike and stuff like that right, right. and they cut it they're like you know what we're not gonna have you ride the bike I'm like, oh. so how did they do that with you coming in is there like say they, they use a body double they use a body they double. use a body double to because to, to, they didn't want me to get hurt and, okay. and whatnot so they, they did a body double but the guy didn't look at it i mean he was big like me but he didn't my skin color like he didn't right. he didn't kind of look like so they have kind of like a full helmet or something the or? full helmet and stuff like that like so show. so they can tell us you see like think the back of my bike oh. you know they, they just see a and that's it, you know. Yeah. So yeah, there was supposed to be us like going up the street and this and that, and, you know. And, and even part of that scene, there, there was a whole scene of me talking to that girl when she was uh, reaching into the to the to the trunk, and that that part was cut too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. but you got the filming. No, hey, you, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you know. Like honestly, like I, I was, I was like, cool. I get to go on the show again. Awesome. I didn't think it was gonna be my last day. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but you know, but I, I as, like I said, whatever I once said, I would take everything like a blessing, and I take everything from craft services. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. how long were, were you from the from the first? What should, what seasons were you on? Or so I'm on season. Get two. to record even if they didn't show it. Like what what did you get to be part of? I was part of I was a little bit of uh, one. I was in the background, you know, okay. and uh, two because they they had to redo reshoot and stuff too. Uh, season two, that's when I, I came in and I had uh, lines and and we in role. I got in a fight with JD. Okay. And uh, in season two, that, that was episode eight. But I'm in season two, episode one, episode three, and episode eight. Okay. And I'm in season three at, at the very end. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's where they may or may not have blown you up. May or may not. You gotta yeah. watch and find out. You know, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I was I wasn't near the car, you know, so I was I, I hid behind something, you know. Right. You can see it on camera. <laughs> all right, all right. So and then <clears throat> What um obviously they are on what season eight season five five, season five yeah like episode eight or something I just saw episode eight yeah so final season the 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 last ride they wanted to end it and all that stuff so wrap that up wrap that pretty bow tie and all that stuff (laughs) (laughs) right Uh, yeah yeah. so are you going to try to pursue or go into um like any other type of TV shows or anything like that yeah I mean go towards Everything. I mean, yeah. I mean, because uh, like, I mean, same thing with my writing comedy jokes. I've been, I mean, I've been writing some other stuff. You know, it's just, uh, you know, shout out to the dyslex- dyslexics in, the, in this world because it's, it's a, uh, it sucks. It's a struggle. It's a struggle, man. Yeah. Trying to read. Like I hated reading, but I've read plenty of books. I read, you know, The Godfather and stuff like that. It took me a while, but I read that. Right, right. But it's, I mean, dyslexia. It's a, it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. sucks. It's a challenge, man. But you know, writing and, and I mean, that I want to write. You know, I've always, I've always written jokes and stuff like that and other stuff and and scenes pop in my head so yeah man i mean doing all of it writing directing and, and uh, making something you know that's 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 you know that's the goal you know right. acting that i love you know but i but making something you know i think i think that's where that's where the the end game is i guess end game you know? writing writing you know so they may be telling my stories telling our you know my my story through right. other through other different ways, you know. So maybe write your story down, and who knows, you'll have to interview people to come play you, you for know? your story. Uh, you know exactly. <laughs> Danny Trejo, you're still available. <laughs> yeah. Right? He, he still does all kinds of stuff. Oh man, he's oh been, yeah. He's been, he's been a big actor. I mean, most of my adult life. Oh yeah. I've seen him on shows, and I've always. But if I see he's on there, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go watch that. Oh yeah. I don't even know what the sure. show's about, but I know he's in it. it must be good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know? We went to the we went to the movies to go. Uh, I mean, we went. 
to three different movies in one day. Like I said, to spend time with each kid. Like I, I went with we went. I went with him to go watch Creed. I went with the older one to watch the Scream and whatnot. And Danny Trejo is in the thing, and every single time he came, uh, you know, the AB quiet popcorn is that, right. and he's in there there every single every single time. I got excited. Like, hey, Danny. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And we were supposed to meet him like. Ten times. He's been like, out here a few times. Yeah, and he's awesome. He's down to earth. You know, we've had car shows, big car shows and stuff out here, and he comes out, and uh, you know, uh, uh, he, he's always down to take pictures with people. He's like, oh, you want my autograph? I'll give it to you. Very chill. Oh, guy. well, yeah, well, I mean, we met him once. No, oh, you met him. You met him. She took a picture with him. We're, uh, you guys uh, can't see, but his wife's over here, like, no, he, he, no, he, he. <laughs> Uh, Antonio Pelayo, Antonio Pelayo, he's an artist in uh, in LA. You know, he puts on these beautiful shows, uh, la, like La Buya. La Buya is about wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, what's the one he just did? Uh, uh, Sorry for Halloween. The Dia, Dia de los Muertos, mm -hmm. and he puts on these beautiful fashion shows and right. and concerts and this and that. And that's where we met. She met Danny J for the first time. And I was like, everybody wants Danny, you know. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, my pictures, thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> and and, and their people, his people, took him away. I'm like, oh. oh. And, and I've been missing him like for the past 10 years because <laughs> every single time it's it like, oh, I'm going to go see Hannah Danny real quick. And, and I don't get my chance. Yeah. But at the same time, I think it's because it's not my time. Yet. It's not, your time <laughs> it's not my time. Yet. It's yeah. going to be one of those moments like I'm going to be in the bathroom with Stalin. I'll come out and be like, oh, there he is. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wash my hands real quick. Because <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've always been like, I don't want to be that guy and be like, hey, you want to take a picture? And they'll be like, no. Right, right. And I'll be like, oh, crap, no, sorry. Right. You know, sorry about that. Like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, right. They, they always say, "Don't meet your heroes." <laughs> hey, you're, you're gonna be there one day. I'm telling you, people are gonna be coming up bugging you, and you're gonna be like that guy, like, oh, "I'm in a hurry, but let me get five minutes with this guy real quick." You know what I mean? No. And, I... and eventually, it's gonna do it because I'm sure you already probably start getting people already because I I've seen you, and then once I found out, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, "All right, cool, I just got my show, all right." <laughs> awesome. That's what's up. Well, I mean, it, it, yeah, it has happened. If it's a trip. Like I was at Target with my daughter, and this guy comes out, and then she kind of like. Who's that, who's that guy? I'm like, he goes, hey man, I don't be, I don't mean to be rude. And if you're watching this guy that met me at Target, hey, thank you for being respectful. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey man, I don't mean to bug you. You know, I see with your daughter and stuff. I have my daughter over there too, but hey, your daughter's up on the mines, right? And yeah. I was like, that is me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is me. He was like, hey, what's up, man? And he's like, I just want to say, hey, man, you did awesome and this and that. You know, like, I hope you keep doing things. And then, like, what else are you, you know, what else are you doing? I said, you can catch me on Netflix on Roadrunner. He's like, really? You know, I'm going to have to watch that now. But <laughs> my me saying that, and I'm like, that's really sad. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's you cool. Know? But I can't say that around my coworkers because they make fun of me. Yeah. They, they keep me down to earth. You know? <laughs> they messaged me like, oh, uh, Yesterday, I was like, I'm going on a podcast. Are you? No, oh, on a podcast. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I get that because, you know, doing the podcast and everything, I have coworkers. Obviously, I work my full time job. I was in the military base. And uh, they're like, oh, there's Doc. There's Doc Coulter over there. You know, <laughs> that's that podcast guy. And, and then obviously, I do Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Yes, sir. And, uh, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, you, you aren't you popular? And I'm like, dude, no, I just have fun with it. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. I love networking, meeting new people, and just doing it. And, and you know, who knows where it's going to go. If yeah. it blows up and I get big, cool. If it don't, whatever, I, I still have fun doing it. Right. I'm living in this time now and just enjoy, enjoying it, you know. And, well, like, like you asked me, like, like you know, what do I do, like to do in my spare time and stuff like that? You know, I mean, I should have answered earlier. I like to write. Yeah. I yeah. Like to write. Right. This and, that. and do scratchers. We're a big scratching. Scratchers. I have like, a coworker. He's big on it. He wins big money, too. I do it. And it's like, I you owe me now. I'm like, no. It's the other way around. Like, hey, we're going to send you a bill. No, right. Okay, no. Exactly. You know, That's what it is. Every time I do this, it says, you may now have to pay us $25. My, I'm like, my, uh, my cousin, man, he got his mom a $20 one. She, she won like a 250 bucks. And, I, and, I, and I'm like, watch, watch my luck. I get that $20 one. I don't get nothing. Yeah, every time. That's me every time. So, I never win. I think the most I ever want is another free ticket. <laughs> I'm, like, oh. I'm like, forget it. But I have a coworker. He wins all the time. Hey, man. You know, hundreds if, of dollars. If you can, if it happens to you, you know that that's your that's your extra income. God bless you, man. That's right. <laughs> hey, hey, it's good, good stuff. You know, you know. So anyway, um, I, I want to thank you uh, for coming on the show. I want to thank you for having me. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing your shows. Uh, I want to you know go back and, and check out some of that stuff. Mine's obviously I got I've seen that on there. I've watched the whole stuff. Um, I enjoy watching that show and 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 Sons of Anarchy, all that stuff. And then Lowrider, I haven't seen, so I'm definitely going to have to look that one up and watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, SWAT, when um, I told my wife I had you on the show, 
uh, she told me, she was like, oh, and I told her you want to watch. She's like, I watched that show. Which one was he? And then I showed her, and she's like, you're having him at our house to go on the show? You're, you're having him in the studio? I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, babe, you're doing it. And I was like, I guess. I'm, I'm trying. Yo, shout so, out to the dog's wife. Thank you very much, because you made so, me smile right yeah, now. Yeah, she, awesome. she knew who you were and, and stuff, uh, you know, because she watches that show. And then uh, now Kings of L.A. Is, is coming out. So I'm looking forward to well, it. Well, it, it, so Kings of L.A. It premiered last Friday. Just actually. premiered. Just premiered right. last Friday. It was in, it was in, the, in the North Hollywood Theater for a week. So it was like it was. I mean, we did number four over in the in like in my Instagram. Is like I, the, the director sent me it. We did like number four overall over the past weekend. So we came like I mean, we came behind Spider Verse and uh, and but I mean, but, hey, right. but we're up there. Oh, up there. But we're yeah. up. So I was like, hey, good stuff. You know, yeah, it's a you know two hour long movie. You know, it's. I look uh, forward to watching that. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, I'll tell you right now, everybody, that you know, it's 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 a very urban movie. You know, so yeah. I, you know, it's black black power and all that stuff so yeah. yeah you know but it's a it was a good movie man it That's was good. it was a good movie and all that stuff my my character i freaking i enjoyed it i loved it i played the uh, opposite of uh, uh paula j parker i don't know if you know who paula j parker is man she's uh she's been in so many things yeah she's been in a lot of things and you know she you know shoved me and all that stuff <laughs> and she, you know so it was gonna take you out yeah, yeah michael <laughs> Ma- michael Pare, you know and like i'm telling you these people i'm like so you what know? is your character in that so movie? my character his name is spanky <laughs> oh, Spanky! All right. My name is Spanky, and my little sister is actually dating the main character. And uh, you know, I can't get too much of the plot away. Right, right, right. And uh, and so she lives with me and my mother. And I'm 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 the, the drug dealer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so the drug dealer. I'm drug dealer. Right. So the cops, the cops, uh, uh, Paula and Michael, they play two cops, dirty cops, obviously, and they come right. to my to my auto shop to come get their their payment, mm-hmm. you know, for another guy. And so that that's my my character, you know. Okay. Yeah. So you're just slanging it. I'm just slanging it, you know? Yeah. Slanging it and then automobile. <laughs> okay. All right. All okay. right. So, like I said, I just want to thank you for coming out, being on the show. Look forward to seeing your your shows, seeing what you got out there. Look forward to um, hopefully having you out here again oh, yeah. for a, a comedy show. So, you know, um, I, I definitely want to book that. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to have yeah, to man. put that together. Um, you know, there's a, a, some great locations out here to do uh, some shows. Palmdale Lancaster is definitely – on the uprise of entertainment. Um, we've had a lot of comedians come out. We've had a lot of actors come out here. Yeah. A lot of them live out here, surprisingly, I found out, which is really cool. Well, so, man, you got beautiful yeah. houses out here, man. Yeah, and it's a lot cheaper. You yeah, know, you, you know, know like, I mean, down below. Like, you, the time you come, you know, we, 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 I mean, we don't think we've been this far. I think we came, my buddy, my, one of my buddies is out here, Charlie, he got married out here. I was one of his groomsmen and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah. this is the same way that we got out for the wedding, right? She's like, yeah, the, the, we, were, we stayed at the hotel right here, the, the, the Radisson. And the, by the mall, but, yeah, yeah, you know, okay, I was like, yeah, 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 you know, but beautiful houses, though, man. Yeah, wow. and, and they're like half the price of, of down in CBU. Yeah, and stuff. So, but uh, it's it's a great location. It's central too. You know what I mean? Like LA's only an hour away. Bakersfield's an hour away. Vegas is three hours away. So it's kind of central. You can go where the, the, the only the only it's just just that five fourteen you know junction right there. The traffic. And then some, you get the four hundred five and you're stuck. You're yeah. <laughs> for some people, people for some people reason like. Uh, for some reason, people would like to cut you off, even though you're not going nowhere. <laughs> you know, always, always, they yeah. want to cut you off just to get in front of you. And exactly. you're like, "Hey, bro, you move one car." <laughs> and then they slam the brakes on you. You're like, "What's <laughs> the point?" Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, but definitely. So, where can people find you, or if they want to follow you, or look at? I know you have your IMDb, yes. which I, you know, I looked up and found you. Right, that's what's up. I was like. He's legit. Everything's on here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, shout out, shout out to Theo Rosser telling me to get my MVP, man. Because yeah. That's the whole. He's like, look, if you're gonna be legit, you have to act that's legit. Right. You have, to, you know, and that twenty dollars a month cost me twenty dollars a month. And yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna pay the twenty dollars a month, but <laughs> you know what? It has paid off because honestly, like, I, like if you're trying to get into the thing, that's right. You have to look People professional, look and, and as a, they will look at your Instagram, they will look at your IMDb, they will look at everything and be like, okay, he's taking this seriously. Exactly. You know? It's not just. And honestly, I didn't have it at the beginning because yeah. shit is tough, right. you know. But yeah, man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it, honestly, like people, like, I seen your IMDb. I'm like, that's freaking crazy. That's right. I looked you up and I found it because that's the first thing I did when I, you know, when I got referred to you, I was like, all right, let me check this guy out. Who's this? And then I looked IMDb, your Instagram, your Facebook. Uh, so obviously, your Instagram is Rubio Time, yeah. right? So if anyone's listening out there, or if you guys see on on the on the video, it's uh, Rubio Time on Instagram. Your Facebook is Rubio E R. Brian E. Rubio. Yeah, yeah. So Facebook is Brian E. Rubio. And then IMDb is obviously the same, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Brian E. Rubio. 
so people can look you up, follow you. So if you guys aren't following him, you guys need to follow him, <laughs> right? So go to his page, follow him on his Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, and give him a shout out, show him some love, and uh, look forward to seeing him on future movies and shows. And then whenever you get a chance to, we all got to, you know, try some of that cooking, you know, because, uh, <laughs> you know, as chef, you know, we want to, you know, try some of that food. <laughs> well, you know what? Like, you so, just, you should, I mean, that gives us a better reason to get together again, you know? That's I gotta, right. You know, show, you know, do a little bit of that. I know you, like you said, you're, you know, you're half Cuban. That's Ooh, right. Oh, man. I love Cuban food. Oh, Cuban, <laughs> Cubanos, man. Yeah. I think, media noches, you know, yeah. pinche tostones. Oh, right. you know, it, um, it's, uh, yeah, let's make it happen, let's you know? It. Let's make it, like, I mean, dude, we can do a, a cooking show and a comedy show you know at the That's podcast right. at the same time anyway you know? hey, hey, you could do that i have some mobile stuff we can set up in the kitchen and record you cooking and and you could get some you know some stuff out there and, you know and we could do it we can set this up let's do this oh man you know so, <laughs> so look forward to that you guys look forward to this coming out yeah yeah you heard it here first thank you very much but hey most importantly hey, thank you very much doc i really appreciate you you know I, I this guy right here he's doing it you know this podcast the uh, he, he's Good guy, funny guy. You don't yeah. think you don't think you're funny? You're funny, man. <laughs> thank you, thank <laughs> you know, yeah, man. This is a great freaking podcast. I like it. All, all everything you post, you know, it's all positive. It's awesome stuff, right. man. Right. You know, and that's all we try to do. So yeah, sure. and make sure you follow him too. I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, obviously, you are because you're watching this, right? Right. Hey, <laughs> this will get posted on yours too. So oh, go, there you go. So go watch Doc. All right. All right. So Doc Culture, you guys in the house. Appreciate you guys for tuning in and look forward for this going. Uh, a new guest every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Thank you.